Base to Capsule 12. Capsule 12, come in. You there, Stan? I'm sorry. Who is this? Ah, there he is. Why, if I'd known the big man himself was running my orientation, I'd have put a tie on. Ah, there's gratitude for you. The finest in Unitrench deep sea fashion, and he talks about dressing up. How you doing, old man? Old indeed, but fine. Glad to have you back. Yeah, well, you're probably the only one. Let's just get this suit calibrated, okay? Drowning on my first day would be embarrassing. I mean, the headlines alone. Oxygen and seals were signed off by the prep team. Well, great. My compliments to the tailor. Not just any suit, Dad. Packed the gills with cutting-edge technology. Uh-huh. Just means there's more that can go wrong. Forget about it, you'll be fine. All right, last thing. Helmet mic check. Check, check. This thing on. That'll do it. So how about it, lad? Ready to head back into the blue? You have no idea. Okay. All right. Just like in training. Nice and easy. That's the spirit. Don't forget, keep an eye on your oxygen. Try not to overextend the seals. set up by now. Should be a big door right in front of you. Head through there. That's the garage bunker. Easy as falling off a log. Well, hello there, lads. <laughs> it's been a while. Okay, that's... Uh, that's a big door. Wait till you see the rest of the place. Valve on the side there should pop it open. like a lift. They must have used something like this to get all my stuff down. Better not have broken anything.
darker in here than it is out there. Well, that's not right. Looks like something tripped up the fuses. Been a while since anyone's been down there. Hang on a moment, I've got maintenance on the other line. There, lad. You're going to need to power up the place manually, so head on through to the generator room. Fairly sure I didn't tick engineer on my application form. Lucky for you, Unitrench had the lowest common denominator in mind when designing our facilities. There's a couple of jennies in here with big old startup levers. Find, pull, voila, instant power. Whatever. But if this goes wrong, I'm not paying for it. again okay all right we're doing this remember you can adjust your depth as well as your direction that suit's pretty hardy so don't worry about poking any holes in it believe me the pencil legs put it through more stress than you ever will okay um another door hang on there a moment Time for what the boys in HR call a learning opportunity. If you're sure. Have a look over there. Oh, yeah. Oxygen sticks. Two steps ahead, as usual. I forgot they integrated them into the training. Pretty impressive stuff, Tim. In suit oxygen resupply. Don't go leaving that empty case just lying around, though. Unitrench are committed to a minimum impact operation. Also, you never know, might come in handy. Always be recycling. Not on these slippers. Job's a good one. Head on through to the garage. Getting a little... Claustrophobic in here. Wait, are you telling me they haven't put the wallpaper up? Oh, Stan, it's lovely. helps the crushing anxiety, old man. I'm joking. She's a solid piece of kit. 
Now you're a fully qualified unit trench service diver, we spared no expense. Well, we thought she might come in handy. We'll have to decouple those clamps first, obviously. A couple of buttons on each side there, you know the drill. Looks like she's all fueled up. You were a diver once upon a time. Was that here or? Oh no, this is the training ground for kiddies. I used to work in the real deep, way down at the original site. Count yourself lucky we don't need you down there, lad. I mean it. Green, ready to go. All right, just like in training. Primary motor on, check flaps and rudder, spinning up rotors. Impressive. Ha, <laughs> not just a pretty face. Think of it like swimming, but faster. And with a higher insurance premium if you smack yourself into something. Green across the board. Looks like we're good. Well, all right. Door should have unlocked. Off you go. Doors working as intended, I see. The wonders of automation. Okay. I was kind of expecting a big reveal there, Tim. It's all about timing, dear boy. You'll see. Lots of life. Even down here. Now, let's get you out of this cave and we'll see about getting you to your new home. module. That's the tub you'll be calling home for the next few weeks. You can use the sonar system to highlight your position. Should make getting lost a little harder. I see it. Heading there now.
I should get back to the task at hand. Docking complete. Heading inside. Roger that. I'm in the airlock. Excellent. Get that suit off and call me on the radio when you're inside. Just gonna sit for a second. It's, uh, this is all. Hey, take your time. Been a big day. Yeah. Thanks, Tim. No worries. See you inside. Okay, this is not as bad as I expected. It's actually... Okay, cozy. Does, um... Is this right? Hey, Tim. Finally. Okay, now the fun part. Press that button over there on the panel. Is that the light switch? You'll see. New user identified. Stanley Moray, level three worker. Welcome aboard. Stan, meet Mercury, the newest addition to the Unitrench family. Ah, a talking computer. Merc's a glorified calculator, but he'll help with the admin and the like. Just don't expect any debates on the meaning of existence or anything. Hmm, pretty swish. You're worth it, Stan. Only the best for Unitrench employees. Uh-huh. Why do I think you're joking? I'm offended, lad. Anyway, now you two are acquainted, you should have access to all the rooms. All rooms now unlocked. I'll give you a moment to familiarize yourself with all the luxurious facilities at your beck and call. You're welcome, by the way. I'd start with the storage room. Make sure your stuff arrived in one piece. Like the storage room. All right. Well, should hang them up at some point, without drilling any holes.
Assuming you've no complaints, the rest of the day's your own. Make yourself at home, get some rest. Tomorrow we get to work. Nighty night. Not Tim. I should probably check in with Emma.